Hello everybody, this is Carol from Friendly Quail. I'm experimenting with my setup to, at my sewing machine to see if I can get an angle that you can see that's not all my hands. I tried already once this morning and all you could see is my hands like really big in front of the camera. So I'm trying something different. I'm making snippets today. So I've got all kinds of different pieces of fabric, little squares, little rectangles, and I have uh, pieces of lace that I've cut up, little snippets of lace and um, uh, trims and things like that. So, you know, things like this. And I'm just making a snippet roll. And I really like doing this because you can cut it, you can put it on any, uh, you can cut small ones to put on a, like a tag or a um, on a pocket or you can have them like a belly band or you can have it on the side of a paper uh, the page and so I just like to keep going because then I cut what I need and uh, that's it uh, I made some of this yesterday and I made it in a lot of like more like pinks and blues so I'm trying now to do some more in greens and a little blue and uh, I think what I'm using might look good in a nature journal. So what I use is pieces of old um, scrapbook paper. It's not cardstock, but it's heavy scrapbook paper. But I've used regular paper, like um, paper that you copy things on, and it works too. Um, I, that's just my base. And I cut it an inch wide so that um, as I get to the end, I can just add another one on and keep going. And I just let it all fall down on the floor. Uh, so I'm going to just start going. I take my pieces and I lay them down. Uh, my hands are still in the way, but I'll do the best I can to show you what I'm doing. So I just kind of lay it down like this. And I'll put a couple pieces on, and um, and then I'll throw a piece of lace on top of it. And that is all you do. And then you sew. I have mine set on zigzag. I have also done it with straight stitch. Um, but you can, you know, you can do whatever works for you. Okay. Throw a couple more pieces in, and uh, like I said, this isn't still isn't the greatest setup. I I'm trying. Okay, and then a piece of lace. Need to go up a little further with that. Okay. And if you put kind of a lace on every little little bit, that works really good for then if you want to um, cut it apart. You've got lace on every piece. Okay, let's see. Ooh, there's a piece of blue. No, we'll get green. Get near the end, and I'll show you how I end it or change to my next piece. of pearl. I'm going to try that. Let's see if I can sew over it. Felt breaking my needle. Mm, it worked. Okay, good. Um, let's see. 
little bit more, one more piece. Be putting that on here, and then a piece of lace. Now I am kind of at the end of my strip. So then I just take another strip and slide it underneath so it overlaps about an inch. And I just keep going. Easy peasy. Then you just keep going. I tend to slide it underneath if I can. And a few here and there over so that it's not all the same. And that works out pretty well. And this one I'm going over. Yeah, I throw a little bit of this in, a little lace. Okay, this is what I got done so far, just so you can see what it looks like. And I would just keep going and going and going. So I'm going to end for now and say goodbye and I'll see if this is worth putting up at least for a trial. All right, so thanks for being with me today. I hope you'll subscribe and come back. Lots of ideas of things to make with you coming up. So thanks a lot and this is Carol saying bye.